awesome. Now, oh. yeah, I actually was able to judge Miss America pageant contest in Minnesota, oh, hey. and some of those girls actually went on to win, and they changed lives. Yeah. We'll just put it that way. Yeah. Um, so super exciting. I imagine you were super impressed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those girls. It's not just about looks. If you guys think that's what it is, that's not. It's way deeper than that. So awesome, awesome stuff out there. And so are the temperatures. Hello, 80s in September. They're usually quite rare. We've had three days now. We're going to make it four as we cruise through this afternoon. But yesterday we climbed to highs of 84 degrees here into Green Bay, a little bit cooler into Sturgeon Bay. You guys are probably like, where are my 80s? <laughs> You'll get a few potentially maybe today, all right? This is your last chance, though, for a little while. Temperatures this morning, we're starting off a little bit more uniform. Notice the North Woods are only a few degrees cooler than the Fox Valley and Lakeshore. We're all into those low to mid-60s right now. If you head it up to the Northwest, it's actually warmer. Upper 60s to low 70s into Minneapolis. But look what's happening. St showers and storms firing up along a frontier. Actually, some severe ones rolling across Lake Superior right now. A lot of lightning associated with it. Also, some nickel size hail has been reported too and this line extends down into Nebraska as well and a little interesting tidbit it's snowing into the mountains right now of course that doesn't matter to us but it's cool to look at on radar this early into the season so right now we're looking at a few clouds pushing down into uh, the UP the North Woods area you're starting to see a little cloud cover it'll eventually start to block the sun as we go through this afternoon and it's going to hang on here for us throughout the Fox Valley and Lake Shore until this evening. So we're not going to see those clouds push in until after sunset. A few spotty showers expected through those overnight hours and then it really ramps up as we cruise through tomorrow into our Sunday. Still lingering into Monday and the fall cool air fills in behind that. But first, it's still sticky out there this morning. Dew points into the upper 50s to low 60s. Temperatures climbing to those mid 80s. And then there's that sharp front. You can see the cooler air it just slams into us as we go through our overnight hours. So we're not going to get too warm tomorrow. Enjoy it today. But speaking of today, we are in a thunderstorm risk for this evening into the North Woods. It could creep into the Fox Valley, but the actual severe weather looks to stay up north towards Rhinelander. Now tomorrow, thunderstorm risk, of course, engulfs the entire northeast Wisconsin area, even down into the Ohio Valley as well. Here's the timing of the stronger storm. So we'll start to see those push in by tomorrow afternoon along that front as it does hit us. This will go into Saturday night into our Sundays when we're looking at some heavy rain as the system just pounds the areas, especially by the lake shore. This is where we could see some localized flash flooding ongoing. It starts to wind on down by Sunday night into our Monday, but still giving us scattered showers out there. So anywhere from two to four Four inches is possible. Okay, so if you live in an area that usually floods, keep in mind to make those preparations now. And if you are headed down to the south towards Milwaukee, they're into the same situation as us as well. So just keep in mind the rivers will be rising. We could see some flooding going on. All it takes is one foot to float your car and two to lose control. So turn around, don't drown. You don't know if the roadway is still underneath you or not. A lot of those culverts wash out some of those county highways. And of course, if you live by any rivers or streams, Keep in mind that those could be rising as well pretty rapidly as we get a lot of rain. All right, today though, bright and beautiful. Stay positive. Sun rises at 625 this morning. We'll climb into those mid 80s. One more summery September day, a breezy one. Tonight, those scattered showers pushing on in. Temperatures dropping to the low 60s and we don't rebound much. Only a few degrees we rise for our highs tomorrow. Anywhere from the low to upper 60s is where our temperatures are going to range and they're going to hold there too Sunday and Monday as well. We don't tap back into the 70s until Tuesday. Then you'll see much more sunshine as we cruise into midweek next week and a potential another 80. We'll try to squeeze another one in there before fall really tries to take over. Yeah, I got to squeeze one last one last 80 degree day, right? right. Or at least take a couple em. more. <laughs> Thanks, Brittany. Still to come.